Every Tuesday, I release four Tape Diagram Tuesday problems, and the purpose of this video is for me to show you the answers to the four questions that I posted on May 14th. I always do an early, early elementary, an upper elementary, a middle school, and then a challenge problem. So stick around for that challenge problem because the whole point of this is to learn not just how to solve the problem, but how to solve the problems using tape diagrams. When we as teachers get good at using tape diagrams, uh, it makes math a more visual experience and is going to allow a lot more students to access the math than in the past. So let's get started on this. And we're going to start with the early elementary, of course. And here we are. And let's see, we've got Margaret. She has 14 cubes. Eight of the cubes are green, the rest are red. How many are red? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a classic tape right there. And then we're going to keep going back and forth, reading the question and editing the, the tape diagram model. So it says Margaret has 14 cubes, eight of the cubes are green. So what that's kind of telling me is this whole tape right here represents the 14. Eight of those cubes, and I'll just make this the eight, are green, and it says the rest are red. So I'm gonna say, okay, this part is the red right here. And then that's my model. Uh, does it matter that it's not totally perfectly uh, drawn in proportion? Nope, doesn't matter one bit. Uh, we're just using this tape diagram to help students understand what the what the math is, what um, what the story is talking about. So in this case, we can see that we need to do 14 take away 8 to give us 6, and it is 6 reds, which is our problem. So there's your model right there. Okay, so let's take a look at upper elementary. Thomas cycles 20 kilometers on Monday. On Tuesday, he cycles a quarter of the distance he cycled on Monday. How far does Thomas cycle on Monday and Tuesday in total? All right, so this to me is going to be a two bar tape diagram. I Because my two subjects, so to speak, are Monday and Tuesday, all right? And it says Thomas cycles 20 kilometers on Monday. So what is that gonna look like? There's my, there's my 20 kilometers on Monday, right there. And then it says on Tuesday, he cycles a quarter of the distance he cycled on Monday. So what are we gonna do? Well, on Monday, I'm gonna cut it up into four pieces and Tuesday is one of those four pieces right there, right there. So here's my four quarters and Tuesday is one, is the same size as one of those quarters. And then it says, how far does he cycle on Monday and Tuesday in total? So what does that mean? That means I am looking for this number right here. There's my question mark to represent the total and then we could see, oh, okay, well, if four quarters is equal to 20, that means each quarter is equal to five, which means this Tuesday unit is equal to five, which means the total is 25 kilometers as our total because we have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. All right, the middle school, uh, the ratio of the amount of money Leo has to Veronica is three to five. Leo gives half of his, okay, so let's start off with, we have two characters. So our characters are Leo and Veronica, and the ratio of Leo to Veronica is three to five. All right, so what, what does that mean? That means, there we go, uh, when... Leo has three units, Veronica is going to have five, all right? So I'm gonna draw my units, and I put a V, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, I misspelled an initial. 
<laughs> there you go, Veronica. Okay. So now Leo gives half of his money to Veronica. Veronica then gives $75 back to Leo. They now have the same amount of money. Okay, so Leo gives seven, uh, half of his money to Veronica. So what is that going to look like? So I'm just going to keep all this and I'm going to make a copy of it and we're going to do some work down here. All right. So Leo gives half of his money right here. Boom. So he's going to give a small little unit and he's going to give this big unit. So he's going to give that to Veronica. All right. So let's let's see. He's going to give that to Veronica and he's going to give this to Veronica right there. So that means all of this disappears. All right, so that's no longer there. And then it says, but then Veronica gives $75 back to Leo. Well, if you think about it now, our units are no longer the same units. We have a small unit here and then these big units here. And that's a small unit and that's a big unit. So why don't we just chop everything into those small units? And then if she's supposed to give give back to Leo to make it so that they have the same amount. Well, let's just do some quick counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That means they each need to have eight units because there's 16 units total. So if he currently has three, that means, because those are gone, remember those are gone, which means he needs five more units. So that means we're going to give, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five. So these five units would go back up to Leo. So now Leo would have eight units and Veronica would have eight units. All right, so they both will have eight units, but we're told that this amount is $75. So 75 divided by five, 75 divided by five is 15. So that tells us each of these tiny little units is 15. So now we know something that's important. It says, how much did money did Leo have at the start? Well, now that we know each of these tiny little units is 15, we can go back up to Leo and cut each of those in half. And we know that each of those little half units is 15. So now we know the answer to the question, how much did Leo have, is whatever six times 15 is, which is $90. So Leo had $90 at the beginning. Wow, that's a beautiful one. That's a really good problem. All right, here's the challenge, folks. All right, so the challenge is saying, okay, what is the challenge saying? Let's zoom in a little bit here. So Steve has some money. He spends $180 on a TV. He spends three tenths of the remainder on a new printer. He has two fifths of the money left at the end. So how much money did Steve have at the start? Okay, so great. So let's start with, this feels like a one tape problem. All right, so there is my, oh goodness gracious, there is my one tape. All right. And it says Steve has some money. Well, there it is. There, there it is. It's, I just laid it out on the tape diagram. He spends 180 of it on TV and he spends another three tenths on, uh, of the remainder on a new printer. Okay. So let's do it in red, uh, highlighter and okay. So he's going to sh boom. So let's call that 180 on the TV. 
All right, right there. And then it says he spent three tenths of the remainder on a new printer. Okay, so that means this remainder right here, I need to cut into 10 equal sized pieces. And three tenths of the that is going to be spent on whatever it was, a printer, I think it was. Okay, so that three tenths of the remainder on a new printer. So it doesn't tell us how much that is, it just says three tenths. So I'm just going to kind of. I don't know, put a question mark, I guess. Then it says he has two fifths of the money left at the end. Okay, so what does that tell us? So that tells us these seven units is equal to two fifths. All right, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And if these seven units is two fifths, that means this three half three and a half is one fifth and this three and a half units is another fifth so that's a fifth and that's a fifth and so that tells us all of this is three fifths okay so what does that mean three fifths okay well that tells us that, let's see, if I cut that 180 into 60, 60, and 60, so we know that for each of the fifths, it's going to be $60 plus, and then I have these three units right here. So that tells me one of these little units, one green unit, plus 60 is equal to one-fifth, okay? Now, what is one-fifth? So one-fifth is right here. That's three and a half units right there. So that one unit plus $60 is equal to three and a half units. Well, that tells us that $60 is equal to two and a half units. If I do a little bit of division, that tells me 125, 40, oh gosh, 60. Technically, what I would probably do is I'd do, I would double it, get 120 is five units, and then five goes into 120, 24 times. There we go. 24 is equal to one unit. So now I know that one tiny little unit right here is 24. So that unit right there is 24. That unit is 24. That unit is 24. So that means that half a unit is actually 12, right? There we go. And it's asking us, how much did Steve have at the start? Well, if one fifth of the total is, let's see, 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 12, right here. That's one fifth. And I don't know why I chose that one. I could have chosen this one. But anyway, uh, so I gotta add these numbers up. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 84. So fifth, one fifth is equal to 84. So I gotta times that by five. So the, the total, is whatever 84 times 5 is, it's $420. So there you go. So how much did Steve have at the start? He had $420. That was a good one. I kind of like that problem. All right, folks, that wraps up May 14th, Tape Diagram Tuesday. You got all the answers. Um, if you made it this far, Thank you. Uh, heck, to reward yourself, make sure you hit the subscribe button, press the like and all that sort of stuff. Uh, look forward to every Tuesday. I release these problems on Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, Mastodon, and the YouTube community section. I just post it everywhere uh, for you to solve. And then I give it a few days, in this case, about a week, and then uh, I release the answers. So uh, look forward to more of these problems.